monkeys. Just thought I'd uh, do a quick review on the Paul electric wheelbarrow for you guys. Um, the first thing that happened today was it broke right here. Um, this, to give it credit, um, uh, it was behind the dump truck and we had a new guy and he just kind of threw it on there um, from the top of the dump trucks, you know, it was rock. So that wouldn't happen if you're just loading it normally. He was like basically dropped it from, you know, a good six, seven feet and threw it on there and it broke. But other than that, um, once you got the first layer in, then it would just stay in there. It's perfectly fine. Um, the battery did last uh, the whole time we were out there. Um, I'll show you the site later, but it did last. Um, when you press the button, obviously the green goes away, but it still has power to it. Um, these tires, I did not think much of them when they came with them, but they're actually pretty tough. Um, you, you know, I just had to add a little, t little uh, air to them. They're still pretty tough. I would actually still want the, the off-road tires um, just because they're bigger and you know you can deal with a little bit better um, also you know one thing that I've noticed it's done it to me twice since I have used this and let me tip it here let me use the magic of video all right so here's the battery pack and one thing I've noticed is that this battery battery pack falls out when you're transporting it now if you're using it it's fine but See, it's got a pin here that goes through a hole, and the pin there, and a pin there. So all you have to do is push it out and do that, all right? And then push it in, put it So it's not the biggest deal, but it would be really, really cool if they had maybe like one of the, you know, um, a blocker pin here or whatever that you could put down in there and then just pull it right out when you're done. And, uh... So that, that, that's probably one thing that's kind of annoying, but that I've, that's only happened ever when I was transporting it in the back of a truck and I went to take it out, that would come off. And then, of course, another thing that came to mind, we were doing the lake, or doing it on a, not a lake, a pond. And so, you know, you're going down there and it was kind of concerning is if I went too far and I got this in the water, what would happen? Uh, that being said, these are pretty, pretty good and bulky, you know, and they're nice and tight. So I don't think, if you go and come down here, sorry, come right down here. These are pretty bulky. They're not just, you know, little string, strangly wires or whatever. So I don't think if you got it in the water, it would hurt it too much, but that is somewhat a concern. So there's that. Oh, and also oh, another feature that was I talked to the guys about because they used it as well was all right. Let me use the magic of video again. Was this right here? Now the, the guys talked about this right here. Now this I don't mind this right here being here, um, but another guy said, well, why wouldn't it be over here? Because if you had a larger load when you when you go to push it your thumb will naturally rest there. Or to have this turned a little bit so that it's awkward at first, but then when you go all the way down, you know, come down, then it's more natural. So that was kind of a, a interesting point that they pointed out there. I don't, to me, I don't, I like it there, but that's just something. And then um, this button here, if it was more like a, just a red solid button, it'd be much nicer. Um, this is kind of like a rubbery button here. And I feel like uh, several times I pressed it and I know I pressed it and then it didn't go, you know, where, where, what, you know, it didn't register. So, so that's that. But I do like this right here. I didn't realize this until I picked it up, um, that when you flip it upside down and throw it in the truck, that protects that. So that was something that I just thought it was, I mean, obviously they thought about that. I just thought that was really cool. So you don't have to worry about this getting hurt because they have something like this. It would be pretty nice if they could probably make like this a cover for this right here. And then you maybe just slip your thumb in there and that way this doesn't get broken off. But other than that, I mean, I think that's a solid, solid build. 
Maybe there's a reason that this is rubber now, or maybe they changed it from rubber to a different one since since I've got uh, received this. Uh, but other than that, that's basically my review. Now the only thing, again, that these this particular um, wheelbarrow is short on is it's a very small bucket. Um, now we were dealing with rocks today, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, the other wheelbarrows had much a much bigger, um, much bigger bucket, but they were only filling them half to three quarters of the way because you got to carry that rock. So we fill this thing all the way, and then we just take it wherever we wanted to. Now, when you go into mulch, you're going to want the bigger one because you know you can fill fill it all the way up, and this would handle it no problem. So I would say the only thing that you probably want if you order these would be to get the off-road tires and the bigger bucket. Other than that, this thing is absolutely freaking great. That was my first real day of really using this thing, and I'm very impressed. You know, other than the, you know, maybe putting a pin on the battery and, you know, just maybe fine tweak, te uh, tweaking it, it was, it was an absolutely great, it's a great wheelbarrow. I did lose a bolt here, and I uh, almost lost that one, but I was able to retighten them. Um, these that was probably just operator error it wasn't tight enough um, but you might want to go and get a, a locking bolt or a locking uh, washer as soon as to make sure that doesn't happen I'm just gonna chop it up to to me not putting it together right and you know just kind of loosely putting it together um, but other you know so th that's something to keep an eye on and here's some video of today and what we did. Uh, this is just to help you give an idea of what we were doing um, compared to the other wheelbarrows and all that good stuff. Also, uh, one thing that I did notice is right here in this area, it was really, really wet. And, you know, it was really nice to have the electric wheelbarrow if you wanted to do quick, you know, just small movements. Uh, you know, just a couple inches, six inches dump, you know, foot dump. It was really nice to just be able to press a button and then essentially have that uh, move the wheelbarrow forward. And then that would let you focus on balancing the wheelbarrow in the really tight positions. And in fact, in the areas with the mulch beds, we would only use the electric one because it was a lot easier to get back up in those uneven, un uneven surfaces. And there's the end of my review of that uh, wheelbarrow. Oops, let's see, I can't, I'm not quite good at this yet. That wheelbarrow there. <laughs> um, you know, one solid day of work with that thing. And uh, you know, I can't complain, it's, it's doing great. It's got juice and all that. Uh, I will have to say, just for the record, that was sent to me for free. So take that as it is. And uh, hopefully you can make your right decision for your guys' company. Uh, you guys have a wonderful night and a pleasant tomorrow.